Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party accessory review. Now, I recently visited the Revenge of the Fallen knockoff uh, Megatron with the Dream Factory add-on kit which consisted of this extra arm being added on and we also got this additional uh, gun section which you plug in and you unplug and some of you noted that this peg may get damaged over time it hasn't as yet but you will be happy to know there is actually a new alternative hitting the markets very soon it is by alien attack those are the guys that did the dark of the moon leadfoot upgrade kit uh, never heard of it well Click the information bar up here, take you straight through to the video. They are back with this. Boom! The Alien Attack APX02. Now there is an A, B, and C. I do have all three of those, although all of my box state A. Basically, the letters they correspond with different versions of the arm. We have three different paint schemes. We have the uh, matte grey, which goes with this Megatron. We have the silver, and then we have the black. I will show all three but for now I'm going to be working with the grey version. Now I will keep the Dream Factory kit on Megatron for now just so we can compare. First of all let's bring in the arm. Uh, basically you get two arms with this. You don't unfortunately get a left arm. The left arm I have on here at the moment is the one that comes with the KO which I think is actually a KO itself of the, I think it's the UFO accessories hand. Uh, so there we go, we can plug that in. That's the UFO hand, and he does not want to stand up. Stand up, Megatron, stand up. Right, this is the arm that you get with it. Detailing on this is nice. We do have Cybertronian text on here. It's a really nice, high gloss black, made of a very good plastic. It actually feels uh, much thicker than the one you get with the Dream Factory. It's it's similar, but it does feel uh, way more professional. The detailing is slightly more minimalistic, but I think it's actually more in keeping with the rest of Megatron. We've got this really nice bladed section on here with this little nozzle bit. We do have a little button under here if I can get to it. Uh, come on, there we go. Do you have a nice red LED blind you? A nice red LED light going on in there. Turn that off. There we go. We, like I say, we had this blade section which can be removed and shortened. This section here is on a ball joint. This can move. This section here is on a ball joint. The elbow is nicely ratcheted. We do get a rotation on the elbow as well. The shoulder come all the way out, gain really nice range of motion. We've got nice ratchet on this shoulder as well. Now the installation for this is exactly the same as what we got with Dream Factory version. Literally just unpeg and pull this peg off here, like so, Pick that on, plug that in, and then bend the arm, and that's going to tab in on here, like so, like that. To install this one, it's exactly the same, tab on here, bend the arm, tab that in, bend it at this joint, and just plug that in, and there we have the arm installed. Now this one actually looks a lot more in scale than the other one. It's kind of a little bit more stumpy but I think that actually works a lot better and my Megatron, I should have took the batteries out of him a long time ago. Just slide that in so he's got this creepy mega blade going on. See now I think that looks good. That looks very dominating doesn't it? That's a good good looking gun in my opinion but wait there is more this set also includes another arm you actually get two of the same arm but this one is basically a cannon i've popped this section in we get a replacement section here and we also get 
a nice claw section as well so we can bend that up and that's a really nice Megatron hand. I like that a lot. That looks really nice. Again, same articulation, same tight joints, chops and changes, exactly the same as that one. And we also get a nice little tool that comes with this set. This tool, basically, just to pop this in here and then wiggle this section out, because then that now allows us to put the other accessories in this gun as well. Although we can't quite fit the claw section hand in because the screw isn't quite sunk enough and the bulb does get in the way. But hey, we can put this section in here. So when we flip him over for tank mode, the gun will look more screen accurate. Now this personally is my favorite look for him. The arm itself is a little bit more simple, but uh, I really like how that looks. It just looks really menacing. Now we also get these variations in color. Now I know we had the dark Henajon, uh, then re-released Nightmare uh, Megatron, which I seen this one's for. Hey, what's this one for? I haven't been able to find a uh, metallic painted version of this guy. H have I missed one or is it just the preferred color scheme for the Nightmare Megatron? Can you guys let me know because I would love a Megatron painted up like this. Now for you movie fans, we also get these accessories in each set as well. I, I believe, are they both for Ratchet? I think they are. I know this is definitely uh, for Ratchet. I think. Oh, now you're making me doubt myself. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're for a Ratchet. I don't have a Ratchet to hand. I've got a medical Ratchet in my box. I'm packing some of the stuff up. So we'll get him out and I'll see how these fit on. But I mean, they're nice really like these. I think Alien Attack are going to be a company to watch. If they're going to keep boshing out accessories for the movie figures, I am going to put those right up the top there with Dream Factory in my must-haves. I mean, look at the detail on that. That's phenomenal. That's very, very nice. We have him changed up into his tank mode. It's still not perfect. We still don't have the little guns on the top here. Now I've decided to take this section off. You can slide it back in and just rotate this section up and around, have it at the back. But uh, just looking at the old concept pictures of Megatron, I don't uh, see anything over this section here. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good lightness. I like having this section on the front here. And of course we do have the option of uh, just lifting this up. And I'm going to use this because I'm going to be a smart ass. There we go. We can put the light section on there. So we now have Megatron with a nice glowing Energon cannon on his tank there. I've still got nowhere to put this uh, UFO hand. It's just kind of hanging on over there. Um, but hey, I, I do like the alt mode. The alt mode has really grown on me. The accessories have brought a lot of love for this set. And uh, I'm genuinely happy. I think this is a very, very good set. If you've already ordered the Dream Factory version, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I just think that uh, this version is better. Uh, the plastic's nicer. The colour match is a little bit more there. And I mean, especially when you go to the higher paint schemed versions, I mean, these are just glorious. Very nice paint applications. I, I want a silver Megatron. Which one is it? <laughs> and then the Nightmare one as well. Oh man, I think I need a Nightmare one as well now. I, th I think I've got a problem. <laughs> anyway, I cannot recommend this set enough. It should be coming to all good retailers soon. It is the APX02 by Alien Attack. And it is very, very good. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to share it amongst your friends. And don't forget, I actually have a giveaway happening at the moment. It is to celebrate me reaching 20,000 subscribers. And it's in conjunction with Toy Hacks. We have some awesome toys and some awesome stickers available. Free, up for grabs, easy, easy peasy to enter. 
subscribe to me, subscribe to Toy Hacks, and leave a comment on that video. The link to that video is in the description here. Until next time from myself and the APX02, thanks for watching, goodbye.